With Parliament in recess, political journalists across the country are doing their very best to come up with stories that justify their existence. Our breaks, downtime and silly season correspondent Jonathan Goodenough has more. Yes, that's right. The month of August has traditionally been a quiet one in terms of politics, but over the last few years we've had elections, referendums, evacuations, Covid and much, much more to keep us all nice and busy. But not this year. So is there really nothing to report on? Not quite. I mean, for some reason, the government announced a series of weeks, such as Small Boats Week, to draw attention to all of the pledges they're failing to meet. Right. And there was a bit of a kerfuffle about nobody important going to the Women's World Cup final, which must have felt like a bit of a diss to James Cleverley, the Foreign Secretary, who was there. James Cleverley is Foreign Secretary. Exactly. Wow. But apart from that, we've had a horrific story that inspired some of the usual suspects to talk about bringing back capital punishment, but even then it didn't really feel like their hearts were in it. Mm. Then there was the time the Education Secretary said that exam results don't matter, then claimed she was quoted out of context, then basically said it again. I read today that a trade deal with India is close to being agreed. Only in the sense that they'd like it to be agreed, in the same way that I'd like to be able to play the guitar, but I've still got a lot of work to do. Are you having lessons? I'm certainly talking a lot about having lessons. The public borrowing figures were lower than expected. That is true, and some Tory MPs are taking that as an opportunity to demand that Jeremy Hunt impose tax cuts. In fact, we're coming up to the anniversary of the mini-budget, aren't we? Indeed, and it seems that some Tory backbenchers just want to see the economy burn one last time. So, if there's not much political news, does that mean that everything is basically OK? Oh, absolutely not. There's still high inflation, a cost of living crisis, a climate crisis, a housing crisis, culture wars left, right and centre, and absolutely nothing in this country seems to work. But on the other hand, it's a bit sunny and lots of people are on holiday. So, in fact, wake me up for conference season, when we'll all get very excited about something that no one else could care less about. Thank you, Jonathan. Next up, as Donald Trump prepares to skip the Republican debate, then hand himself in to Fulton County Jail, we ask, can anyone beat him in the primary? And pretend that that's still an open question, because we really have a lot of time to fill. 